Good morning, Stampin' Friends. Hey, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's Jody Breckbell, Stampin' Queen. I'm live in my stamp studio this morning um, trying to figure out how to uh, do this again. <laughs> it feels like it's been so long since I've been in my own studio and doing lives with all of my equipment. So some of you guys may have joined me last week. I was on location in Utah on vacation on location, on vacation. Um, and so we went over the last chance list. So we went through the catalogs and got our catalogs all marked so that we know what's retiring, what's staying, and what's gonna be on sale on April 9th. So um, good morning, friends. If you're joining me, come on in and say hello. If you are catching the replay, make sure that you put replay in the comments so I can come back and say hi to you guys. And while we're coming on, just a couple little housekeeping things, like I I said last chance is happening um, items are starting to sell out now and one of the main things that you're gonna see leave real quick is these retiring in colors so we're going to say goodbye to these it may be permanent it may not we never know if a color refresh comes and maybe one of these will come back in we never know uh, but we are retiring them at this time I am pretty sure I saw that the hmm Parakeet Party Refill is already sold out. I haven't checked today. Maybe some of you demonstrators on know if anything else uh, from the in colors is gone. Maybe some of the cardstock may be gone like the assorted. So it's a good time if you've got these colors, protect your investment. Go ahead and stock up on your cardstock, your ink pads, your refills, because you can keep on playing, right? Keep on playing. So we have seen our gorgeous new in colors, right? Have you guys all seen the in colors that are coming this year? Um, we have some super pretty colors and mine just arrived yesterday. My ink pads came. I had received the cardstock when I was at on stage and they are gorgeous. So I hope you guys love them as much as I do. They feel like, they feel to me like a beautiful bowl of sherbet. That's exactly what I think of when I saw those in colors was sherbet. And um, I think they're gonna be great. So the sale for last chance starts April 9th, but some of the items could potentially be gone by then, right? So we're saying goodbye to these two catalogs Lots of items getting ready to leave. And then we're saying hello to this new catalog, which will be coming in May. Um, some of you guys may have yours. Do you guys have your catalog yet? Has anybody received their catalog yet? Um, those of us at on stage, in, in, I was in Houston uh, with some of my team. We received ours early. And then when I got back from vacation, I had one in the mail, my complimentary one. So I'm um, curious to see what you guys think. It is definitely some change up. I can't show you the inside yet, but um, there it is laid out a lot different. And um, I think it's a little bit refreshing. It was time for some change. And uh, so it takes a little bit of time to kind of get used to how things are. But I think bottom line is it feels less overwhelming to me as well as I think a new crafter, right? Somebody new. And when we used to hand these big catalogs out to somebody who's new and be like, here you go, pick whatever you want. And you know, you just don't know, like, where do you start? What do I do? How do I use this? And so I think you'll find that this might be a little bit more um, community and project centric, kind of showing you how to use some of those items, especially if you're new. So um, one thing that I'm gonna do real quick, I hadn't planned on doing this, but I'm gonna. And, um, you find some room. I got home from vacation and I had, I think like a birthday card on the counter. So my birthday was, was last week while I was away. So I came, I went to Houston, came home for a day and flew out to Utah to um, spend my time with my farmer. And I had like one birthday card and I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> um, which I, you know, is fine. I don't need a lot of things. Like my kids always say, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, I need nothing. I like memories. I like going away. I like spending time with the family. I like a call from my kids. Like that's what I need. But apparently my father-in-law had gotten our mail while I was away and not my son. So the other, well, yesterday actually, the farmer brought me my birthday cards 
And so I opened them this morning and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to share my beautiful birthday cards with you guys. And thank you because many of you guys are on here. So let me show you my birthday cards. This one is from Carol Warren Feltz. She's a demonstrator friend. She was in um, on stage with me as well. So it was fun to hang out with her. And one of my girls, Lois, sent me this one. Love that. We're getting ready to say, I no, I think we're getting rid of, no, we're not getting rid of this at all, I believe. If memory serves, I think we're keeping the daisies, maybe the paper's leaving. Not quite sure. Another one of my Moveless girls sent me this very cool fun fold card. So this is from Teresa. Thank you, Teresa and Brian. I'm sure Brian helped a lot creating that. He probably gave Teresa a lot of encouragement. Um, this one is from Francis. And so Francis said, this is my RAK card and my birthday card. So I love it. It's gorgeous. Um, RAK stands for random act of kindness. And my team does a swap every month um, called random act of kindness swap. So we sign up each month and say, yes, I want to be a part of the random act of kindness. And then our coordinator sends us the name of one of our team members and we send them a beautiful card. So Francis got to do a twofer. She got to send me an RAK and a birthday. And I think it is just gorgeous. So thank you, Francis. Um, this one is from Pap Pap and Mimo, otherwise known as my dad and his wife, Connie. So um, some of you guys stamp uh, with Connie whenever she comes to hang out here. But Connie always, I shouldn't say Connie, it's, it's Connie and my dad. They always send us a check every year for our birthday. And the check is always for the amount that you're age is. So I know that this check is $53.53. And so Mima always knows how old we are just by going through her register. And it's been a fun idea since she's been a part of our family. Our checks always are the dollars and cents of our age. So I think sometimes if you hit a big number, like maybe 25 and 30, maybe 50, something like that. I think your number might get some extra, but yeah, so I know 5350 I've got on that check. So thank you, dad and Connie. All right. This one is actually not a birthday card, but this came from the founder of Stampin' Up. And this is from Shelly. I will let you see this because I love her handwriting. Oh my gosh. Her and Sarah both have the most gorgeous handwriting. So uh, back in December, I believe I had reached an $800,000 in sales milestone. And so Shelly herself sent me this beautiful card to congratulate me. And that is just awesome. I love that they do that. I love the fact that it is handwritten. They handwrite me notes all the time. It's not a stamp. And um, so that's from the founder of Stampin' Up. This one I'm going to share because I have to I have to laugh a little bit. And hopefully Becky is not going to be <laughs> offended when I show this to you guys. So this is from uh, Becky. She is one of the princesses that does my die cutting for me. She's also a good friend and a team member. But I had to laugh because this is what she put. Uh, so I mailed this to myself. <laughs> Happy belated birthday. So she put her address instead of mine and sent my card to herself. So God bless you, Becky. You crack me up and I love it. Now, Becky also is our sunshine committee for my team of Moveless Stampers. And so she sent this card and um, we have just a little post-it from our team that she can stamp on there. So she sends out, if you're on my Moveless Stampers team and you get cards from Becky or you get cards from the team, it's because Becky makes them. So one of the, te so the team sent me one and so, um, so did Becky. This one is from Jen. I don't know if Jen was on today. I didn't um, I didn't see her. So Jen, if you're on today, thank you for this gorgeous Zinnia birthday card. I love it. And Muriel, I don't know if I saw Muriel either. So Muriel sent me the gorgeous lavender. Um, I love purple, so I love this one. And she used GoTo Greetings, and we're retiring that one. So if you guys love GoTo Greetings, grab it now. Yes, it is a great idea, Debbie. Um, so that's what we do so that you can just take the post-it off 
And now you have a card that you can utilize as well. I actually have a poem that goes on mine. So I had a little poem printed up on Vistaprint. Like I didn't sign this card before I sent it on its way. Should you need a card, remove this note and send it on its way. Something like that. It's such a cute little poem. So that the card itself is like a gift. And let's see, I have a couple more. This one is from my team leader, Cindy. She did a cool fun fold for me. So I appreciate that one. One of the Moveless Stampers sent me this one from the Painted Wishes Kit. Such a gorgeous card. Love that one. I think that was LaDonna. Yes, LaDonna sent me that one. Um, this one is, oh, this one's from Kay. This is the note. Um, that's the so she has it printed out. I did it in Vistaprint on post-it notes. So there is the little um poem. So we put that in so that the card stays blank. So I'll hold it there for a minute. But yeah, isn't that a cool idea? All right. Then I know that there is a card from Loretta because Loretta gave me my birthday gift before I even left on vacation. And it it was here and now it's missing in a pile of things. So Loretta, I do have a card from you. I thank you. She also sent me, gave me some sweet little chocolates. And then I had, um, well, here's an Easter card. This one was from Lori. She's on my team as well. She dropped some things off and had this gorgeous Easter card. That's with the Easter Lily that's getting ready to retire. So thank you, Lori. It's beautiful. Um, but Corinne Holloway, if you're on, Corinne sent me peeps and look at this. It's a little cow peep. And then this gorgeous card and just was like, thank you um, for everything that I do. And I just was like, that is so sweet. And thank you, Corinne. I don't ever feel like I do anything. I just get on here and I do what I love and I stamp and I have fun and I enjoy. And so, but yeah, I don't know, Corinne, if you know my deal with peeps. So I am a peep junkie, but I'm a peep purist. I like yellow only. So you can make them pink and purple and blue. That's okay, but I like the original yellow peeps. So the bunnies and the peep, um, or the bunnies and the little peeps, like I feel like that's the OG, right? Those are the ones that I like. And let's do a survey, guys. Stale or not stale? So tell me what you guys say about peeps and let me know what your thoughts are. Or maybe some of you guys are like, no, peeps, uh-uh, don't like them. Um, I do like my peeps. Now, I noticed in the store Oh my gosh, every flavor you can imagine, like hot tamale, candy cane. What else was there that I saw? Um, birthday cake. It's not right. It's not right. Oh, Dawn's on. So Colleen is Dawn's mom. She said she got it from Target. Thank, please make sure to tell her thank you. I do have a thank you note. I just haven't gotten to it, but I thought this guy is, that's the, that's the bomb. <laughs> like, look at that. Oh my gosh, Patty said Dr. Pepper flavor. I just love him. I have, I'm gonna have to keep him away from the cat. I have a feeling. Um, our daughter's cat is living with us. So she's getting ready to move into a new place. And so we kind of inherited um her kitty for a couple, a couple of weeks, couple months. And so I have a feeling he would take this in a minute. So um, Corinne says you can melt the peeps and make Rice Krispie treats. I did know that. I haven't done it, but I did know that. And, you know, we also will do peeps on the fire and use them for s'mores. And the, um, the sugar kind of like crystallizes. Aha. Yeah. Dawn knows. Dawn just said, use the peeps for s'mores. Absolutely. Sometimes we'll even put them in the microwave and they blow up and then they shrink down real quick and they get like crunchy, like lucky charm marshmallows. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I shouldn't know this much about peeps, right? Or waste this much of your precious stamping time talking about peeps, but stale or not stale. That was my question. Tell me what you guys think. All right. Well, what we're going to do today, um, you think they're cute, but you don't eat them. Denise says make them for s'mores. Yeah, you guys know what's up. So today is pop-up class day. Um, now, make sure you guys know some of you guys have seen these. And you're like, hey, this looks awfully familiar because Connie and I do pampered stamper retreats together. 
We always have an optional class and then we bring the optional classes to everyone. So you kind of get one final chance and we had the rock and roll, which is a little bit different. I know um, it was not one that I gravitated towards, but a couple people were like, that's cool. And I do love me some black and white. And I'm like, challenge accepted. I'm going to get this, which is outside of my box and create a class around it. So we have the rock and roll class. That is um, the half a pack of designer paper. You're gonna get the four make and takes, and then you're also going to get the pack of gems, okay? So this offer is available through April 1st, okay? So make sure you check it out. The link is in the description of this video so you can grab this class should you choose. And then we have a fun fold class that Connie created using the poetic expressions, this stamp set right here, the designer series paper. Now this one is a question because I cannot get the dies. So the question was over the weekend and I have not checked today, maybe one of you demonstrators knows, is this still available? So the stamp set is staying, the dies are retiring, and I was not able to order them, but I could not find anywhere that said they were discontinued, they were sold out, they were on back order, like there was nothing. So I, if you get this class, I will have these pieces die cut for you, okay? Um, because you might not be able to add the bundle. You're gonna get half a pack of paper, the four projects I'm gonna show you, and the gems. So each class is $27, bundle them together and save money, okay? So you can get both of them. So let's get rolling here with the rock and roll. Oh, I'm making a mess. Everything's on the floor. That's fun. <clears throat> All right. So you'll get a tutorial with each one, plus you'll have this video. Now your tutorial is going to have uh, the sizes and dimensions of how to cut your paper. Okay. And then, then some instructions, but this was fairly easy. Here's the rock and roll. There's the stamp set. And then of course it does have a set of dies. I am actually going to go completely off target and I am going to fussy cut. So this is possible. You don't always have to have the dies, right? Now this piece here and the lightning bolts, yeah, you kind of need to have them. But for the shapes, honestly, sometimes, sometimes you guys, I think I can cut it faster than getting all kinds of die sets out. So good morning. I'm with you, Dawn. Totally with you. Cannot believe those dies are not staying. All right. So here is card number one, and this is kind of, I just went with the black and white, but you could absolutely add color. Not a problem. If you love to color, you could color these guitars, color the stripes, add pops of color with your cardstock, which is more what I did. Um, so, so, okay. Someone said, I only, <laughs> the only peeps I like are the ones that give us eggs. <laughs> So not a fan of the uh, pure sugar marshmallow, huh, Karen? All right. We have got our designer series paper and some Coastal Cabana, our basic white card base. And we're going to add our DSP onto that Coastal Cabana. So I am a stale peep person. So I will actually open those peeps, give a, a little air hole, and then I will come back, you know, like next week and totally enjoy my peep. I like my peeps nice and stale. All right. So we have that for our DSP and that's just the front and the back of that guitar. So we can add that to our card base now. All righty. So the other, so um, what, what Easter candy do you guys like? Since we do have Easter coming up on Sunday, which is really, really hard to believe, is it not? Um, what, what Easter candy like, or do you actually gravitate towards? I'll tell you another favorite of mine and the farmer and I just like downed a bag of it while we were on vacation. All right. I'm going to take my guitar and I'm going to stamp it on a piece of Coastal Cabana in Coastal Cabana ink. Okay. Now, hey, you guys, 
this this block's retiring. Did you did you notice that? We have three of our blocks that are going to leave us, and this is one of them. So if you don't have this block, is it I? Yes, block I, block A, G, and I. Correct me if I'm wrong. Block A, block G, and block I are retiring. So if you don't have one of these blocks, I'd grab one quick. A is the smallest, the little teeny tiny one, and G is the long skinny one. The G one I can, eh, it's fine. I could do without it. Um, but yeah, block I, I do like, and I will, I have two of them, so I'm good to go. So on white, I'm going to do the Yes, Corinne, the postage dies are carrying over. Yeah, but the, um, the stamp set is not. You're correct. We're talking right now about the thoughtful expressions. That was the one that I am not sure about. So there is a die for this. So if you guys are have your baby boss or your big boss and you want the die set, absolutely go ahead and grab the die set. Or if you don't, if you don't, you can totally fussy cut. And that's what I'm gonna do today. Rather than get everything out and take up time, I was gonna do it ahead of time. And then I was like, nah, let's talk about candy. <laughs> I saw somebody said Reese's. Yes, Reese's is definitely a yum. And for some reason, the Reese's eggs, right? The chocolate to peanut butter ratio of a Reese egg is just like perfection, is it not? Okay, so there we have that. And then we will um, fussy cut our guitar. So Starburst jelly beans, the malted eggs, dark chocolate marshmallow eggs from Russell Stover. Oh, that's a classic. How about it, Patty? Chocolate caramel eggs, dove chocolate. Yes, Joan. Dove is so good, is it not? Anything Reese's? Thelma says peeps. Yeah. All right. Cadbury. There's my winner right there. Debbie, you are like my heart right now with what you just typed. The, the Cadbury milk chocolate eggs. Yes, ma'am. The farmer and I like every night on vacation would sit down and just eat a bag of those bad boys. They are so, so good. Love them. I think they're starting to bring them out for like different occasions, but I was like, no, they are just for Easter with that little candy shell on there. Oh, so good. So I, that's my favorite besides a peep. I think they came out like at Christmas and I thought, yeah, that's wrong. Who wants Cadbury eggs at Christmas time? All right. Maybe I'm rethinking this idea. It's not as easy to fussy cut as I, <laughs> as I thought, um, but you could always die cut it, right? This is going to be, you guys are probably like, you said we wouldn't want to sit and watch you die cut, but now we have to sit and watch, watch you fussy. All righty. I thought so too, Debbie, about only being available, but my sister had them at Christmas. They may have been a different shape. I don't know. And they weren't leftover. <laughs> like they weren't Easter eggs left over the whole way till Christmas because who would have Cadbury eggs left over that long. Yeah, it was very strange. They were sparkly. They had like like a glitter to them, but maybe maybe they will realize that's not a great idea. Save the eggs for, for Easter, right? Oh, I got a little off right there. It's okay. I can fix her up. Now I'm hungry for chocolate, you guys. I'm going to end up going to the store and buying more of those dang eggs that we don't need. And I do know both my boys are chocoholics, my husband and my son, because he was in here yesterday going, where's the chocolate at? Where's the chocolate? Where are you hiding it? Because he knows I a lot of times have, have chocolate hidden in here for you guys. Speaking of, here's something else that happened. I'm full of talk, right? <laughs> so before we left on vacation, I saw Mouser in here. He was over by my door. And he quick skedaddled and ran into our closet. So my dog food is right outside. It's in a big rubber made, but it's right outside my office. And I was like, we can't have this. I don't want a mouser in the house. No mouser in my house, sir. 
All right. So I added that stitched shape that is the black, basic black stylish shape styes. Thank goodness they're staying. Added that with some dimensionals. And now I'm going to do my rock star right on there. I did not add that with dimensionals just because I, I don't want it to be too raised up. Okay. Then our guitar can get added on with dimensionals. So I went into one of my baskets that I have here on a bookshelf and I had some leftover little baggies of Hershey Kisses from my retreat and guess who had been in them while I was gone. That little mouser had eaten through the mesh of the bags and had himself some chocolate. Now we have been trying to hunt this mouse for quite some time. If you've ever seen the movie Mouse Hunt, that's about what's gonna go down here. So we set a trap last night to try again and we're gonna see. I, he has started coming in, Debbie. Debbie said, where's my daughter's cat? He just started coming downstairs because of the dog. He is not quite sure how he feels about him. And so um, he came in my office yesterday and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna let him hang around in here and see if even just having a cat scent tells that mouse or he can go. I don't wanna kill him, but I mean, I will, cause dude, don't eat my chocolate. All right, so there's card number one. And the next thing we need to do is just add our cute little gems. So we have got white, yellow, and green, or white Daffodil Delight Coastal Cabana, stars and lightning bolts. So your choice of what you like, I do believe I like the yellow because I felt like it gave a little pop of color. And so you can tell I've used the yellow, I think, the most. And then we'll do a lightning bolt here too. Nah, I don't like you there. Sorry, Charlie. Oh, let's do the lightning bolt on the guitar. That's kind of cool. Okay, so there's card number one with the rock and roll class. All righty. <clears throat> Card number two. <laughs> I believe it. Don't, don't, um, I, I know reality, Tina. I live on a farm, right? So we do have, I can hear them in the ceiling um, at night sometimes, you know, they run across the hardwood ceiling. So I know when we start to cut corn, you know, that's when they tend to come in and they can come in like the teeniest little holes. But I do say I have I have barns everywhere, little mice, barns with tons of feed. You don't need to come in here and eat my chocolate. So but my problem is I I don't want them in my office. <laughs> like You guys, I see you scoot every now and then in the kitchen, um, run across the living room. And yeah, I'm like, uh, ugh, I don't like you, but definitely you cannot be in my office or in my cupboards. You know, I don't want them in my food. And so I have not, um, not seen any evidence of them. So we've got basic gray card base for this one, a little designer series paper on a mat of black. That one's cool. It looks kind of like marble, very neat. So we're just going to add that. Oops sliding around on me. Okay. So then I took just some layers of Daffodil Delight. I felt like that pop of color, right? Black and white and a pop of color. So this one is all kinds of like record players, stereo, boom boxes, cassettes, kind of very retro. And I'm going to add that to a piece of Daffodil Delight. Now your card stock and everything will be cut for you. You'll just have to cut your DSP. Okay, and the, the tutorial will tell you exactly what size to cut it. Now, I am an eighth girl. I love just that little bit of border on there. So I think this is probably like three and one eighth by three and seven eighths, maybe something like that. Um, but if you don't like that or it's harder for you to cut, just go make it a quarter. You know, if this is three by four, make your mat three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Oh, oh, Tina, I'm going to make sure that I show. OK, you're on YouTube today. I'm going to go back and find this comment and tell the farmer because he's kind of giving up. He's like, I think that the mouse is like a dead relative reincarnated and we just can't kill him. 
Um, we think he's, <laughs> he thinks he's somebody that's coming to visit from the past. And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> he's eating my chocolate, man. All right. Now this one is a little longer than I wanted it. So this one, I still wanted to see the yellow. So I'm going to do a little trim on that one. So let's see how I can, if I can read okay here. Easier said than done some days. All right. But I will definitely look into a little bit of a deter you know, mouse deterrent that's safe for the animals is okay with me. I will give it a shot. Oh, I wonder if you're three inches. Is that why? Perhaps. My good ruler got left out in Utah, so I'm winging it here. That'll do. Three inches it is. Okay, so I just, I don't know why, it just needed a little bit of a kind of a bridge across there in the basic gray. Then this is like a big guitar pick. And so we're gonna stamp our sentiment in black. Do a little rocking and rolling here. I did just re-ink this one because I, I think my ink pad was a little dry. So get that good and juicy. Stamp a rock and roll birthday on here. My, oh, nuts. Do over. I got too excited. There we go. So I thought this was kind of cool. Um, this bundle would be good for kids, teenagers, um, guys girls who like to rock it out, like I, scrapbook pages, you know, if you have fa family, friends in a band, you know, that kind of stuff. So I do think it has its place. I know some people are like, it's just not my, not my jam. <laughs> Get it? Rock and roll jam. Uh, and that's okay. That's why we have that giant catalog full of everything. But the side that is not rock and roll related is just plain black and white. And so it does lend for good black and white classes. All righty. So we've got our rock and roll birthday on there. And then the final thing is we're just going to add our gems. So there is card number two. And then, of course, you'll have white for the inside. I just didn't put anything in there. And you could decorate it, too, if you wanted to. Uh, inside with some of your paper and just keep your, your music theme going. All right, card number two. We're going to add pop a color with the red. So black, white, and red is always a fun color combo. So we've got our black card base. some of the designer series paper. So that's what I was saying. It's kind of generic too. So don't let the guitars fool you. There's still a lot of use you could get out of just having a good pack of black and white designer series paper. There we go. Then we're gonna take another piece of DSP and a piece of black and add those to our card base. And I'm just going to offset them a little bit. Now I'm going to do a little clean here because we need red. Okie dokie, artichokies. Red. Got my real red for my rock star. And then I'm going to do black for my guitar. So it'll, it'll stand out just a little bit more. A red guitar on red cardstock is just not 
not going to stand out as well. <clears throat> so black guitar on a red. And then die cut or fussy cut both of these out. I'm not going to do that since you guys already started. Oh, how cool. Tina said her grandson started playing electric and acoustic electric and acoustic guitar. That's awesome. Probably starting off, maybe not as awesome because <laughs> it probably might be a little hard on your ears. Yeah. All right. Now I did die cut this little two this little toothpick, this guitar pick out of the hologram paper. Okay, so that's retiring, but that will be cut out for you as well. So that'll go on your card. And then I added some of the stars and lightning bolts there. So that is the basic black and real red card. Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. That's how I roll. Okay, so our final card is final card is going to use the microphone so we've got another basic black card base then i have smoky slate from the scallop contours how sad are we about this one this die set is retiring I have loved it long and hard, <laughs> and I'm sad to see it go. Um, oh, my little stars are falling everywhere, but it is happening. It's retiring. So if you have not added the scallop contour dies to your collection, check them out. So we're going to add a piece of designer series paper. This one kind of feels like, I don't know, plaster, maybe something like that. Very textured looking, and I love that. Let's put that on our card with some Pop-Tarts today. So this is our final card. You're going to get everything you need to make all four cards. Again, half a pack of paper and the gems. And of course, the tutorial as well. And you'll have this video too. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. So it is definitely different. Um, I was talking to one of my friends yesterday, one of my team members, and she said somebody mentioned to her, you know, how all so much that we do is 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 feminine. We have a lot of flowers. We have a lot of pretty colors. We have a lot of stuff that's very feminine focused. And he was like, I want like masculine cards. So, yeah, this is a good one. Piece of smoky slate and basic gray and that microphone. Now my basic gray, I'm pretty sure needed some juice, so it may come out lighter than I planned, but that's okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Then I have a stylish shape circle that will be cut out ahead. Back to the real red. Oh, I'm so glad, Tina. I love it. Rock and roll birthday. Right on that circle. Oh, I did just juice my real red. Doesn't she look pretty today? She got some juice. Uh, dimensional on that one. We're going to use up these nubbins. And then you'll see over here, I have some little stars and lightning bolts. Those are from the die set. Okay, I that is a die cut. I could fussy cut it out, but you guys get the gist. I'm not gonna make you watch. Um, now, what I like for adding the little stars is the green glue, which walked away. So hold these. It went over to the other table. Okay, so we're gonna add just dot, dot, not a lot, right? We just need a tiny little, little dabble, do ya? Of green glue. 
and then we'll just add our stars. Give that a little time to dry. Oh, you came along with me. You belong there. Bada bing, bada boom. A little bit on this lightning bolt here in the middle. And that's going to just zap right across there. We'll put our microphone on. And there you have it. Twada. All right. So that is the four card class. Let's check them out again. So this is the rock and roll class, one of my pop-up classes for this week. So you'll get everything to make these four cards, half a pack of the paper and the gems plus your tutorial. Now, there is another class called Thoughtful Expressions. I did not do this class today. I'm just going to show it to you because this is a fun fold class. So you will definitely get the tutorial for this as well with the dimensions and the scoring and the cutting and all that good stuff. So this is focusing on the thoughtful expressions. And this is the one we were talking about that I'm not sure if the bundle is still available or not. So I'll have to check into that to see. The stamp set, yes, the stamp set is carrying over but you could use any stamp set that you chose really. Um, but the die set is the one we're not 100% sure on. So here is a fun fold card. Okay, there's your first one. You're gonna get half a pack of the Poetic Expressions Designer Series paper, everything you need to create these projects, your tutorial, and you'll also get um, these gems. I think they're called the iridescent gems, maybe something like that. Here's another one using that DSP. So you would need to do some coloring with your blends, um, coloring the, co the watercolor pencils, blender pens, you know, whatever you have. You don't necessarily have to have exactly what I'm showcasing. You can use what you might have at home. Okay, so there is card number three and then card number four, fun fold. Okay, and that one's got that fun little hummingbird. Okay. Now I'm going to cut the shapes out for you. I'm not going to die cut your hummingbird and your flowers, but the shapes will be done for you. Cause like I said, I'm not sure what's going on with those dies. So that's card or that's class number two, class number one, class number two, they are 27 each, or you can bundle together. And I think you save like four or $5. Now keep in mind, if you're not local and you can't do a pickup, you're gonna have to add shipping. Okay, so the classes do not include your shipping. So you do need to choose that at checkout and the details are in the description of this video. All right, so that's what I have for you guys today. I wanna thank y'all so much for joining me. It's fun to hang out with you guys. I love my Wednesday mornings. And um, if you have any questions, hit me up and let me know. Don't forget that new catalog is coming. It's laying here on the floor. Um, this is getting ready to come out in May, but I'll be ordering next week. So if you do not have a demonstrator you work with or you're not a demonstrator and you need a catalog, message me and let me know and I can add you to my list. Okay. I do have a sign up going on as well. If you already signed up, don't worry about it. Um, but I, I can get some catalogs next week if you're in need of one and then it will go live the beginning of May. Now, we did talk a little bit that there are some price increases. So make sure you're aware if you have some things you need to get, like maybe reinkers, cardstock, uh, some of the tools, some of the items that go with the big boss machine, like the plates. We have we are going to see a little bit of price increase coming here and there. And um, you can get those in April and still get the current pricing. So you can do a little stock up if you need to. All right, my loves, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Have a great rest of the week. I will see you guys back here next Wednesday. Bye, everyone.